gracious, Mama. It's not like you to meet a train. My dear, I'm taking you straight to the house. We'll go back and change and return for dinner. Do we know what time she left yesterday? Well, no, not precisely. The rest of us were at the point to point. We heard when we got back. So what are we going to say now? Oh, I've been awake the whole night. There's only one thing we can say. We have to tell Cora. Well, isn't that rather a betrayal? If anything happens to Edith and Cora learns later we knew all along, she would never forgive us. And I wouldn't blame her. You see, as a mother, it is her right. But you don't plan to tell Robert. He is Edith's father. He's a man. Men don't have rights. Did you both know? Mrs. Drew told me Rosamond knew you went to see the child with Edith. Yes, and you never thought to tell me that I have a third grandchild. Edith didn't want me to. I suppose this makes sense of that bewildering trip to Switzerland. But what else was I to do? She wouldn't get rid of it. Get rid of it? It was her idea. But she wouldn't go through with it in the end. And what did you know? Well, not quite as much. I knew why they were in Switzerland. I thought she'd left the baby there. And that was the idea. Edith didn't stick to it. And you never thought to involve me, her own mother. You, Rosamond, you looked at that little girl and you never thought it was my business too? No, we, we wanted to contain it. To make as little noise abroad as possible. So what changed? What tipped her over the edge and into running away? Well, I suppose we all knew Mr. Gregson was dead, but the confirmation must have been very upsetting. And... Mrs. Drew was being difficult. Mm -hmm. Clearly, the child couldn't stay there indefinitely. So, we thought... What did you think? That it would be better and safer if the girl were sent abroad. Well, now we have it. Edith was told her child would be taken away. Are you going to say anything to Robert? No. I agree with one thing. The secret is not ours to tell. Somehow we must find Edith. And we must hear from her what she wants. But we have no way of knowing if Lady Edith will come in today. It's already tea time and we close the office at six. Then we'll wait until six. And we'll come back in the morning. And every day until she either turns up or contacts you with her whereabouts. It wouldn't be enough to give her a message that you want to see her. No, it would not be enough. You've told her, haven't you? You've broken your word. No. I... Mrs. Drew came to the house. What did she want? She felt you had used her badly. I confess it was a feeling we shared. I'm not coming back, you know. Let's not talk about it here. Come to me for dinner. No. Very well, then. We'll discuss it now in front of your new employees and give them something to chew on. There is a tea room at the end of the street. Where's Marigold now? The hotel arranges a babysitter when you need one. May I see her? I don't think so. Not tonight. So what are you going to do? I was toying for a while with the idea of going to America. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Why is that ridiculous? She's half American, isn't she? I thought I'd drop my title and invent a dead husband. Then I'd be Mrs. Thing in Detroit or Chicago, where I wouldn't run into anyone I knew. So is that your plan? I don't want the magazine business to fall into ruin. How could I keep an eye on it overseas? And I would like Marigold to grow up English. And what is the alternative? An invented dead husband here? I'd never get away with it in London. I thought I'd make her my orphan godchild. Well, I have a different plan. I'd like you to bring her home. No. I won't be the county failure. Poor, demented Lady Edith who lost her virtue and her reason. Just listen to my plan. The Drews would reach a reluctant conclusion that they can't afford to raise their friend's child. You've grown so fond of the girl, you ask if she might join the others in the Downton nursery. Well, the Drew plan was mad enough. But this is completely ludicrous. How could it possibly work? Papa must never know the truth. I've thought about it. I don't agree. While it would take time for him to get used to the idea, I believe he would make it. No. He'd never look at me in the same way again. Very well. If that's how you feel, he doesn't have to know. Nor Mary. You couldn't have Mary queening it over me. No one has to know who doesn't know already. Your grandmother, Rosamond, you and me. Everyone else will be told the story. And how would we execute this insanity? 
a farmer's foster child turns up in the Downton nursery. People adopt babies all the time from all kinds of backgrounds. So you're going to try and do this? I'll telephone Mr. Drew tonight when we get back to Belgrave Square and I'll ask for his help. And what about his wife? Let him manage her. Edith and I will go home tomorrow. I'll ask Mr. Drew to meet the train and take Marigold. Then we'll discuss the Drew's situation with the family. And at last, Edith will fetch the girl and bring her back to the house in broad daylight. Time to call it a day, ladies. I couldn't agree more.